Hey Archery Talk, this is Lucas and I've got my long-term review here today of the SureSight V6R range finding bow sight. I've been waiting a long time to finally get this review to you. I've had a little bit of trouble finding a place to shoot it at distance uh, due to COVID restrictions. I found some places to shoot finally. Uh, I've been testing this thing for the last couple of weeks and I figured I'll offer you now kind of my, my thoughts on this. If you're looking for really specific details on everything the site does. I did a preview video when I first got this. All that information is in there. I'm going to link that in the description for you so you can check it out for yourselves. This one today is going to be mostly um, my thoughts and experiences with the site, how easy it was to range, so how easy it was to set up, how easy it is to range, how easy it is to shoot with, all that kind of thing. So let's dig in. So SureSight actually has two different versions uh, of this bow site. This is the V6R, which the R is for range finding. And they've also got another version called the V6, and that is everything this site is except without the rangefinder. Um, what might make it still interesting, because you might figure, why should I use that site instead of the regular three or five pin site I've got? It's, uh, it's For me, the reason is uh, field of view. Uh, even if you go with the V6, you get a crystal clear view. All that's in there is a single dot, uh, like a blue dot that's going to be your aiming point, or you could set it up as a multi-pin, like a multi-dot thing, so maybe three, four, five dots, whatever you like. And you can set it up like that for yourselves very easily. You just have to manually input the distances uh, and, and, and mark those pins using your actual rangefinder. So it'll work just the same as your bow sight. It's just going to offer a much clearer picture. And you can pick one of those up for, I think, about $260 American. Uh, the SureSight V6R is a little more expensive, as you might expect. It's $800. Bucks. That puts it pretty much in line with the Garmin Zero and the Burris Oracle. Um, it's, you know, this, this technology is still new. It's still a little spendy. But if, uh, if you're looking for a site that kind of has everything in one, it's got your rangefinder built in, and it really does, I've shot all of these sites now. I've shot all of the rangefinding bow sites, and they do make a big world difference for as a, as a bow hunter and someone who's trying to get a shot and get everything done quickly and take as little into the woods with them as they can. Let's talk setup. And uh, the folks at SureSight made this a pretty simple proposition. Basically, you get your kind of 20 yard mark uh, like you would with any other site. You're just going to move the move the whole site up or down manually or left to right until you get your, you know, your site in at 20 yards. And then you start ranging and, and going up from there. There are 365 site tapes programmed into the unit um, that would pretty much cover any any bow speed you can think of. Um, and if it doesn't, for some reason, you can input your own manually. I didn't have to go go that route. I found the one that worked best for me. Uh, and the whole process really just took maybe 25 30 minutes until i was ranged out to 60 yards and feeling very comfortable with the sight tape i've chosen that matched my arrows uh, and it was really dead simple to use if for some reason you're shooting a couple weeks later and you realize ah, maybe i am going a little bit i'm hitting a little bit low out at 50 60 yards you just hold this this function button over here for a few seconds it'll bring up your sight tape and then you can just go up or down a spot or two to make it go make your arrow move up or down the target this is it, it couldn't be a simpler process to to, to work it's a, definitely easier than the first time i tried to use let's say the garmin zero it was a bit it was a, that was a bit tricky but that was also the first time i used this technology these guys have made this as uh, as easy as they can another thing i like about this is um is the 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 little led dots that are, that are moving there are only a half a millimeter apart so it's super micro tiny movements for you um, if you're, if you're, for your kind of your shooting pin, so you can really fine tune the distance you're at uh, at all times. It's a no, no it's a great system. Um, personally, I'm using the program of 105. That's my number that matches the bow speed I've got out of this Prime Nexus and the arrows I've got, uh, and it works out perfect. But again, if I if I needed to go a little faster, well, then I'm just going to hit this button and go up one or two spots as easy as easy as can be. Um, you can also adjust the brightness. Of this thing super easy there's just a, there's a the f1 button that's a that's a brightness button you just tap that a few times it'll get brighter and then eventually it'll go back down to the to the uh, dullest version again so you can kind of change that to depending on your ambient light it does not read your lighting for you you got to do that manually but it's a uh, it's it couldn't be easy just when you get to your hunting stand in the morning just kind of use that and and figure it all out super fast uh, another thing with this that this i can do which the garmin can do as well is that you can put multiple arrow profiles in here. Um, so if you know if you got one arrow set up for turkey, another arrow set up for deer or elk or bear, um, you just got to remember your sight tape. Um, so you got you know your numbers. You can just write down your numbers. So for deer, I'm shooting a 105, and for my elk arrow, I'm going to shoot a 115 or whatever it's going to be, and just change it that way. It's a, just a simple process that allows you to kind of have multiple arrow profiles uh, all in one. So I'm guessing you're going to want to know uh, how this thing is to use. Uh, so I, I've shot a little video just a couple minutes ago, kind of showing you the whole shot process from uh, ranging to uh, executing. So let's go look at that right now. 
All right, let's walk you through the shot process using the SureSight here. Um, and one of the cool things about this is that you can range your target from the hip. You don't have to kind of go up to full draw and see where you want to go because there's a there's a little literal green laser that you can see. So I just hit this trigger button, hold it on the ground, and then I can track it right to my target. I let it go. I look in the viewfinder now. It tells me it's 20 yards away exactly. So now I've got my range set. It's already given me my dot to shoot with, my aiming dot. So I just get myself ready. And now I can ready ready to shoot. I could still see that little blue dot in the picture. Easy as that. So you can just aim from the hip and go ahead and shoot in a completely uncluttered sight picture. Nothing but a singular blue dot. So yeah, as I touched on in that uh, in that little segment, the ability to range from the hip is kind of a big deal for me. Um, it just makes it a lot easier for you if uh, you don't have to get to full draw like you do with the Garmin Zero to really aim properly on, on the animal. You just kind of hold the button until your, to your, that, that little green laser is touching whatever it is you're going to shoot and then you got your range mark all of a sudden, you're good to go. It's a, it's a dead simple process. The only thing I don't love about it is that it is a little bit difficult to range when you are at full draw. You can do it, you just kind of have to kind of break away from the peep a little bit to kind of see where that laser is going and then get back in and, and finish executing your shot. I do wish it was a little easier to use uh, at full draw in my peep, just in case you're, you know, you're getting ready to range and your deer walks four yards away, be a little, make it a little simpler to re-range and shoot again. But realistically, it's still a pretty simple process. Because of that actual physical green laser that's showing, um, they do uh, put a lock on this thing. So just in case, you know, you're whoever, you don't want your kids getting this thing and start pointing this thing at airplanes or anything like that. Uh, so you can lock that up so the laser won't operate. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just a, just a safety feature they put in there. Uh, I've never, I don't lock it up. My, my bows are away from the kids anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. But it, at least it's a safety precaution, especially if you're traveling with it as well. Uh, another advantage the Shoresight has over some of the other range finding bow sights uh, is it's a little bit lighter, or quite a bit lighter, really. I had this thing weighing in about 12 ounces, uh, whereas like the Burris Oracle and the Garmin were both in around a pound or more. Um, so you shave a little bit of weight. They do that by using polymer construction instead of metal construction. I did ask ask the guys at uh, at Shoresight why they didn't go with with a with a metal bracket and metal housing, and they said they tried that in their in their initial testing and they just found that it vibrated too much. Uh, and, they, and so they moved to a polymer, does a better job of absorbing vibration. Um, so there's you know some give and take with that. Some I know some folks would rather have an all metal sight, and I totally understand that. Um, I've shot polymer sights uh, for a number. Of, I've shot a Trophy Ridge. Uh, for a number of years, a five-pin setup, never had any issues with it. But you know, if you if you if you really do want a metal construction, it's something to keep in mind. Another bonus uh, is the battery in the Shoresight is rechargeable. It, it recharges just via a micro USB port. Plug it in, in about 90 minutes, you got a full charge again, and you really shouldn't have to charge it that often. Uh, I've actually never recharged it since I initially uh, received it because I've, I've still got plenty of juice in this thing, and I've, I've I've used it quite a bit. They say you can get about 700 ranges. It's the range that really eats the battery up. Um, so you can get about 700 ranges out of a charge, but uh, if you're shooting at the same range all the time, like let's say you're at your club and practicing, you're shooting at 20 yards or 30 yards or 40 yards for an extended period of time, you just have to range the one time at each distance and then you can keep shooting again and again and again. And that doesn't eat up your battery nearly as far. So you can get, you can get thousands and thousands of shots without ever having to recharge. But when you do need to recharge, you just plug it in and you're good to go. All right, Archery Talk, I think that's about it for now. Uh, if you got any questions, please do ask me in the comments section. Uh, and if you can, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel an awful lot. If you'd like to learn more about these guys from SureSight, visit SureSightUSA.com. And I think that's about it for now. Thanks so much for watching.